Have you guys ever been down under? Wait, down under? What does that even mean? Until I traveled to Australia, I never knew what that phrase meant. My name is Ernest Kyung, and I am a Canadian living in Tokyo, and this is my Canes travel vlog. I booked a trip and went to Australia in late November 2019. Now, Australia was never really a place on my immediate list of travels. It was always too far from Canada back home, and the two-day journey just never really appealed to me. But now that I'm living in Japan, I figured there's no better time or opportunity to go to Australia and see the land down under. Keynes is a small city located in Queensland, the northeastern part of Australia, renowned for its beautiful tropical climate and relaxed atmosphere. Although Keynes wasn't top of mind, I did fly directly there after looking at some options, as this was the one flight that got me directly into Australia without having the transfer somewhere in Southeast Asia. Now after some research to see what Keynes has to offer, I learned it's actually quite a popular destination with access to some of the best nature spots in the country. It's considered the gateway to the Great Barrier Reef and it's a super attractive spot for water activities. There's also a rainforest nearby where you can experience the tropical nature and meet some of the locals and make some new friends. The koala bears are just as cute and lazy in real life as I imagined. So without further ado, here is my Canes travel vlog. The flight was overnight. I landed bright and early at 5 a.m. in Canes and I went right to the docks. Without wasting any time, we had a boat trip booked to see the Great Barrier Reef and to try out scuba diving and snorkeling for the first time. In the docks, there are many boat and tour companies to choose from. We went with Tusa Dive for the price value. Here's a travel tip. Be sure to take some pre-seasick medicine beforehand. The waters do get rocky and you're spending most of the day on a boat. The last thing you want to do is spend the day sitting on that boat with a barf bag feeling sick where you can't fully enjoy the experience or take part in the activities. After some water activities, fun in the sun, and drinking some of the saltiest water in the ocean, we got back in town, dropped off our stuff in the hotel, and went out to explore the small town of Canes on foot, walking around, checking out the local spots, and going for a night walk around the harbor area. In Canes, there are many different cuisines to choose from, and there's even a night market. This was definitely one of the most popular spots in town. On the next day, we woke up early to go to Kane's Central Station to get tickets for the Kuranda Scenic Train and Skyrail Tour. We got here a bit early, we were the first in line, and the mall wasn't even opened yet. But luckily, we found a place to get some good breakfast. The tickets include the train ride, the gondola lift, and the shuttle bus back in town. The famous Kuranda Scenic Railway is about a two-hour train ride that travels across the local towns nearby. Things start off slow, but during this delightful train ride, the scenery continues to change over time as you travel along, slowly making your way up the mountain. It's quite a dynamic experience with scenic views of all the beautiful nature that this part of Australia offers. There are plenty of opportunities to get some amazing shots and videos throughout the journey. Along the way, there's a short 10 minute stop where you get off the train for a spectacular view of Barren Falls. Once you arrive at the small town of Kuranda, after a quick walk around the small town, it has one main road from the station and a few blocks to explore. We didn't spend more than an hour and a half here, but we took our time and made the most out of it. If you're like most people coming here, you're probably here to check out the Koala Gardens to see and meet some of the locals. Oh, and also be sure to get some internet famous gelato. Check out the local marketplace. It has all your typical Australian souvenirs and gifts you can imagine, from didgeridoos to kangaroo goods. You might even catch a glimpse and experience some of the local culture here. This place is built for welcoming tourists, so you'll find many different cuisines. However, the prices may be a bit steep. Instead, I went to a local supermarket nearby and I bought a hot lunch from the bakery. This is where I had my first sausage roll in Australia. After exploring Karanda, we headed back to the train station area to board the gondola. What's nice about the gondola ride is that there's no set time you have to board, unlike the train you can go whenever you're ready to leave. During the ride, you get some more spectacular and breathtaking views all around the vast and rich rainforests. The best part is you're getting a completely different perspective and experience compared to the train ride. 
The gondola isn't one long ride. You'll make a few stops along the way where you can get a different view and vantage point of the surrounding nature. You can get up real close in the rainforests, learn about some of the nature here, the wildlife, and their natural habitats, and what makes this rainforest truly special. All before hopping back on the gondola as you make your way down while enjoying more of these amazing views. It was great to start off this trip in Australia with some nature. That's all from Keynes. Next up on this series is Melbourne. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing for more travel vlog content. And be sure to comment down below, what are your top things to do and see in Australia? And with that, keep the adventures going, keep traveling, live this life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye